uh, in times to come. So from the anagram of uh, what Lokesh sir talked about that reseeing, energize, green, genie uh, and the kind of universalization of engineering space. Uh, I would now bring in Ravi in the discussion that uh, 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 there was a kind of a, a like while the romanticism of technology is probably there. Uh, uh, Professor Sharma and uh, Mr. Mehra are both on the same pitch that the power of technology should be exploited. But there was a uh, comment by uh, Mr. Mehra that uh, where is the infrastructure? Now, uh, Ravi who has been uh, uh, interacting with the educational institutions uh, all across the country, what is your view about the existing state of affairs? Where uh, the colleges are stopping in investing in technological infrastructure per se? We have fantastic buildings. In fact, we have an architectural contest of the finest monuments in the, uh, in the country. I think probably a large number of engineering colleges would uh, come on the forefront. Uh, what are your views regarding the technological investment in colleges? So now, Raghav, I would want to um, go a little away from the technology part of it. Um, I mean, this is the second edition of uh, Why Engineering and uh, our first edition was viewed by around 1500 live viewers and we have reasons to believe that most of them were students and their parents who were uh, maybe and we've got a lot of questions. Students were willing to know where are we going if we get in, where do we go? So I would want to start with a, a, a beautiful phrase that Sir said, why let's not ask why engineering, let's ask why not engineering. So Sir, from there, uh, uh, and though I'm still young, but then when I'm, I was younger, uh, uh, we, we used to uh, see engineers as uh, engineer sub, uh, the way we call doctor sub. At that point in time, we used to see and uh, they were revered and respected as engineer sahab. And uh, today, uh, as, as part of my job at Engineering Watch, I deal and talk with a lot of engineers and PSUs, uh, senior people in PSUs and uh, uh, industries, engineering companies. And they are upset and they lament about the fact that today students are getting into engineering not as a destination, they want to try this as a stepping stone. Ki engineering kar lete hai, you will get a good aptitude. Yahan se MBA ka rasta asan hai, aur ab yahan se IAS ka rasta asan hai. So engineering is liye nahi kar lete because you will become a good engineer, but because MBA asani se ho jayega, IAS asani se. So one, I, I mean, uh, this thought uh, on behalf of uh, most of them, we we face this question a lot of times. Is there a truth in this uh, statement, sir? Yeah, it's true. It's a, it's a true statement, but really speaking, it's it's, it's very tragic at the same time. You do not need people to become engineer and then run away from engineering to softer pursuit and do little about engineering which they have learned. Really speaking, engineers were supposed to be the daredevils who will greet and meet the challenge which confront them, offer solutions in a manner that challenge becomes a major opportunity and opportunity then encased in terms of the growth and development and advancement of the society and economy. This is what engineering really is. People who run away from engineering often end up by doing things which we find that our investment in engineering was perhaps not important. But on the other hand, let's not be too critical about it. If a person gets an MBA degree after engineering, his engineering mind, if he is able to really keep it intact, then his engineering and technology temper assisted by his managerial acumen could make him thousand times better engineer manager than what he could be otherwise with pure engineering training. So in that context, it is welcome for you to integrate engineering with management. Likewise, it could be integrating engineering with an administrative assignment. Look at the problem you have today. Today your administration is saying that the system is very large, it's inefficient, what can I do about it? An engineering mind would not do that. It would say, Oh, India is a large country, India's problems are really more complex, I will use my complex engineering analytical capability and arrive at a solution. If, if Dabba Walaj can do it without going to engineering, I tell you how to do engineering. So, but just I would like to intervene right here, who will drive this passion in those 15 lakh odd engineering students entering into the system per se? There is a lot of dejection, there is a lot of rejection in the entire system. Now this passion, these things, how it can be transmitted those to those students who can find out the real local problems and start solving uh, it. How do you create excitement about Indian films? By showing them repeatedly mm -hmm. on the television, often without charging a penny from a student. 
So if you have to telecast programs like this more often, ask people to interact, let them ask themselves why they want to come to engineering. Mm -hmm. I was just interacting today in the admission session at Delhi Technological University and I shared this perception that most of the time parents are coming to me, sir, we don't, our child doesn't want environmental engineering. Mm -hmm. Sir, take him away <laughs> from biotechnology. <laughs> sir, take him away from pursuits like mathematics and computing. I yeah. asked them, if you keep your children away from environmental engineering, mm -hmm. education, why are you blaming them? Your, all your water bodies have gone astray, your rivers are rivers of poison now, there were rivers of nectar earlier, and your half the population perhaps is in a very bad shape because of the environmental problem. I will now move on to so, the case, sir, sir, how your education advocacy is taking care of this aspect. That the parents understand that engineering is not per se for a job but it is for confronting the mm -hmm. challenges which we have on our director. This dialogue is necessary. This is probably the industry comes into play that they have to give a balanced and all-rounded view to the engineering students per se. Sure, I think I will totally consent with what sir said uh, that, you know, I'll probably I'll try and concise it. Engineers are problem solvers. They face complex challenges and their whole idea is that they need to go and resolve it. Number two, if you look at it today, knowledge is available everywhere. It's like air, it's free. The point is, how do you know what you have learned, how you can use it? And that's what Sir was reiterating. If you, uh, you know, listen to him in the initial uh, talk that he did, he talked about the various areas where engineering is available or prevalent today. And an engineer will go out there and find solutions to what the society requires. Because they will keep cropping up as simple as holes in the heart to as simple as how do you visually impaired people walk on the street. And for example, Delhi Metro has done a considerable job where they have taken that into cognizance. So that's where the engineering part plays. Coming to Raghav's question, how do you build that enthusiasm? And I just want to take uh, you know what uh, Ravi had also talked about. I think monetary, your life should not be revolving around money. Yes, money is an important critical element. But if that was it, Sachin Tendulkar would have stopped playing, you know, 10 years back. He's made so much money. Or a Bill Gates would have not been, you know, spending money on doing, building vaccines or doing new things. So money is important, but that should not be your primary goal towards life. I think that's something very important. So you don't get into engineering because you see a route where you will get a tree filled with money. That's not what is going to happen. You need to be passionate about engineering. That burning ambition in you to try and resolve problems, fix issues, that's where engineering comes into play. Coming to the query what uh, you know, uh, Raghav had talked about, what are we doing uh, to kind of build the engineering fraternity and share with people. We do similar things. We talk to people. What does engineering entail? What are the various streams that are there? And if I look at, you know, typically the IT industry, do students know that IT industry is, to, you know, generally split into four quadrants? You have hardware, you have software, you have multimedia and networking. So you can get into any one of these streams. People think IT, IT is coding or IT is just software. No, it's not that. Same way, mechanical is split into diverse fields. And today an engineer is no longer considered as an individual. He has to be multidisciplinary. So reinforce that time and again. It is bio plus technology. You know, you need to do both these parts. You can't do it single-handedly. You need to work in a team. That's where your analytical skills and your collaboration skills come to play. And I will define, you know, the ABCDs of engineering. First, an engineer needs to be agile. B, he needs to build. He, he needs to have a passion to build. C, he needs to be very creative. Creative and with his critical thinking that sir was talking about, he needs to come and collaborate. And D, he needs to discover. He needs to discover what the society requires. What are the problems that are being faced by them? And then design a product or a solution around that. And if he can't do it in a company, there comes your E. You become an entrepreneur. And that's what the ABCD of engineering is. I think uh, this initial discussion has probably answered the large number of questions which we have been receiving on our emails pertaining to the uh, courses, the branches of engineering to take. Sir has also hinted about it that 
A stupendous career, a magnificent career can be made up in the space of engineering if you are agile, if you have the passion to build, if you are creative and if you have the penchant for discovery and if you have an entrepreneurial mindset, engineering is for you. So that answers that should you enter an engineering college or not. So there is a career in engineering all through. Now what course to pick up which all the parents are quite concerned whether it is to be electronics or electronics and communications or electronics and electrical engineering. There are so many variants in the 